So hello and welcome to another episode of Doc Talks. I'm here with a patient of DOC chatting about their experience with Dayton Outpatient Center Pain Management. Thank you for meeting with me today. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself, like your name and you know what initially brought you uh, to DOC Pain Management. Oh, my name is Tommy. Uh, terrible chronic pain brought me here. I need to, to, to get control of my pain that I was going through. It uh, took for a long time. I've had it. I've had it since I was forty-five. Doctor Red has helped me a lot. How has um, DOC pain management helped um, improve your quality of life? So, for example, um, are you able to do anything now that you weren't able to um, before starting your treatment plan? A lot, a lot of things. Uh, before starting being here, um, I was doing good to just walk around the house, get out of bed, get out of the chair. You know. Uh, if I lay the TV remote down somewhere, it's easier for me now to go get it versus back in the past, I just had to lay there and deal with it. Uh, if I went outside, it was outside to get the bill. Now I could uh, walk down the street back, three or four blocks down to the grocery store back. Mm -hmm. uh, I could walk my dog if he's not killing me. <laughs> if he's not too anxious, I can walk my dog. People come over to visit me now that didn't ever come before because I can leave. I can walk around the house, we can talk. Or I'd go down the street with them or something. It was just bad. It's just emotionally, it was just draining. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that I was depressed, but I surely wasn't happy. If I was depressed before, but more than not depressed now, I'm so I was very happy. So, um, how long you, with, have you been with this practice? What have you noticed that sets us apart from other practices? Open mindedness, I think, is the number one thing. Because last doctor, a uh, pain doctor before this was a female uh, doctor, and she was very negative. I could go on about that, but I don't even remember her name, so I'm not going to digress into that. She was a very bad person in my mind. But here, uh, they were very cautious in that they didn't want to just throw pain medicine out there to me, but they allowed me to adjust it to where it helped. I felt the pump. So tell me a little um, bit, bit about about the pump. I don't even know what it's called. I just call it the pump. No, it's or okay. Generically speaking, I call it the pump. Yeah, just in your, for yeah. your experience uh, about the pump. It was traumatic for a couple of days. I, I know it's like to be shot. It felt like I was shot. But still, they didn't give me a whole lot of pain medicine. They wanted me to deal with that, which was a good, turned out to be a really better than I thought. It was a good thing to, uh, to take too much pain medicine. After I started getting used to it, it was better, but they needed to adjust it. And it took them a few months to adjust it. Finally, when we get our, the, the, got the final one, uh, the final adjustment, it made a big difference. And we just supplemented it with a, a lower dose, so a different kind of a pain pill. Uh, that's not an opioid, I don't believe it's an opioid. But. In your experience with uh, DOC pain management, has there been a particular staff member that has helped you or impacted you, and in what way? Uh, Dr. Priyashma is my doctor. He's amazing. Uh, he helped me, he showed understanding. That's, I think, the biggest thing right there is understanding. Um, he didn't think I was lying when I would talk about my pain. In my mind, I think he seen the pain that I was going through. Our visits wasn't in and out in a minute. They were, if I had to be there for 15 or 20 minutes, we would talk for 15 or 20 minutes, in my mind. That, uh, he's just a good guy, he'll listen to you. Hypothetically, let's say someone that you know or love is in pain, um, what would you tell them? What words of wisdom would you give them? Because obviously, you know, you've been through it and you'd be a great resource for them to have. What would you tell them? Whatever you do. Not all doctors are educated enough to discuss, in my mind, opioids the right way. Well, thank you. Thank you so much.